Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I've just been basically playing all day. It's been a really great day. I'm gonna be real with you. Let's go. Let me in. Secrets company get out here now. Oh It's another hidden guide Just like the last time in Mass Effect 1 at the beginning You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You lead them right mm. here You had to hear them trying to get in seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors those things are collectors You mean they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. Mm. No, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. He's like, I thought they were fake, but oh, I don't know. They still got everyone. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of ox. Everyone they touch just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's no. fault. They stationed that Commander Alenko here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. <laughs> Dang it, it's the government's fault. They're the ones who made the virus and released it under the... Oh my gosh, it's just people. People, they'll do anything, right? They'll do anything to try to make it... To try to make the world fit their tiny little perspective of what they think it should be. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Commander Olenko? Heard he was some kind of hero or something. That made nothing to me, though. Would rather he'd stayed back in council space. Any idea what he was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling he was here for something else. Spying on us, man. He's trying to help you. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. <laughs> then nothing, nothing would ever satisfy guys like this, you know? Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. I mean, like... Is he the Alliance or, like, Earth? Like, you still have ties to, like, Earth and, like, human interests. And the Alliance is the military human interest. Like, you can't... It's not like going into the Terminus systems means you're no longer bound by the rules and laws of, like, your, like, home planet and, like, organizations. Like, you know, I don't know. But also, correlation doesn't mean causation. You guys were a target before we put these stupid Guardian lasers in. It just... You're just, you know, yeah, correlation does not mean causation. <laughs> the Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said he was just here to get the towers online. But mark my word, there's more to it. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked. Morgan right. can do it. Shouldn't be hard to figure yeah. out. Just need the yeah. location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. Yeah. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. What I... Good luck. I think you're gonna I was gonna say, it. I should have him go out there and um, drag people in here, even if they're paralyzed, but there are still seeker swarms out there, and it's a miracle none of them flew in here to get him while, we, while the door was open. <laughs> Uh, did we... Oh, we have a weapon loadout. Yay. That's, I think, um... Oh, look at that. If you don't want to use the collector beam. But the collector beam is really, really good. 
it, you can just get a little haywire with it, you know? Hold down the trigger a little too long. I know you're coming for me, and I know that the big nasty's coming for me, and I'm very not excited. The thing that really freaks me out is coming. Hey, it was about to die. That's unfair. Direct intervention is necessary. No. That thing. That thing's coming for us. Oh my gosh, it is taking way too long. I am using my entire beam on it. Just you guys wait till we see them. They get closer and then nasty. One of my least favorite. This will put him down. Did we? Do we actually have the codex entry on them? You're still alive. There we go. Though the exact fate of species captured by the collectors is unclear, humanoid appearance of the scions gives ghastly clues. The scions frame and skull are similar to those of a human aristomy, but the bone structures overlay with metallic resin. Posthumous examination of the bodies reveals skin tone resembling that of Reaper Husk, but the transformation process seems more extensive. Like Husk, they are cybernetically modified on a nanoscale so they can operate even in a hard vacuum. Hoses rather than veins and, and muscle tissue join major portions of the body together. One arm is replaced with a construct that fits a large rifle, turning the creature into a human open platform and a fleshy sack supported by the creature's back and head. These sacks contain brain matter and spinal tissue, too much to have come from just one victim. This indicates scions are an amalgamation of several individuals, with one primary victim providing the frame and several secondaries providing the flesh for decentralized and mechanical nervous system. Decentraliza the decentralization makes them highly resistant to gunshot wounds, even a headshot and a certain kill. <laughs> just wait, just you wait, you'll see what they look like. It kind of looks like Envy from, um, from, you know, Full Metal Alchemist, the greatest anime ever made. Oh, I should have let it get a little closer so you could see it, but I hate them. Power cells, yes. I'm like, there's got to be more around here somewhere. You would think they would direct the collector swarms at me. Like, oh, hey, maybe we should try an overwhelmer. Nope, they don't do it. Did I go in there? Yeah, okay. That's not where I wanted to go. I saw something. Okay, here we go. This looks interesting. <laughs> I myself am biotic. I figured we'd have seen more of those frozen colonists by mm -hmm. now. Colonists loaded onto ship. Collectors nearly finished here. Need to hurry. Mm -hmm. We'll hurry once we make sure we get everything. But yeah, no, they were nearly done. We nearly missed them, even with the advanced warning that we had. Oh my gosh, it's like, you're, you're supposed to do, like, it's... It's dumb when they make you, like, do this kind of a thing for, like, something that is required to, like, move the mission along. It's like, oh, well, uh, you didn't hack it, so, uh, 
Oh, too bad. Game over. <laughs> you know? No. We just have to keep trying. I hate this part. I have- this is probably the- the I'm trying to crouch. Uh, the place I have the most traumatic memories of trying to play on hard and or nightmare. Uh, truly. Oh, there it is! Oh, jeez! Oh. oh my gosh, they're coming. I hate them so much. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, uh, but look. How is it, it's how is it one shot of you? Oh my gosh. We're gonna, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh no, 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 I tried to get out of the way. Trying to stay out of his line of sight. No! <gasps> Please! Okay, I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at it. Oh no. Oh yeah, okay. Look at it. Hell yeah. Why are there two of them? I'm playing on normal mode. Like, oh, they're fleshy. Oh god, they're so gross. I swear in the old version, I don't think they would have taken it away. But I swear you could see faces in the sacks. Cause like, when I first saw them, I remember immediately th like being like, oh my gosh, it's an amalgamation. Just nothing to help. Oh, no shield. Oh, my gosh. Inflammable. Forget which. Doesn't matter. Oh my. Transmitter yeah. spotted. Gimme, gimme. Anyway, I hate them. I can't believe they can even one-shot us still on normal mode. But those, uh, the problem is, the biggest thing is the husk swarms. When you're playing on hard or nightmare, um, they have armor. Normandy, do they you have copy? armor. Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. And, which means my biotic abilities, which I specifically got, because I was like, okay, waves of husks. I'm gonna get shockwave, I'm gonna level it up, and I'm gonna get the one that makes a big area of effect, and it knocks a bunch of them back. And then you get here, and you realize <laughs> that they're all wearing armor, and you can't do anything to them, and you have to fight them one-on-one, -on -one, and it's just the worst. It's the actual worst. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Let's load up. When the collectors notice, we'll have a fight on our hands. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Uh, quick. Load up, load up, load up, load up. I don't actually need those are power cells. I haven't used any of them. Oh, I have. Okay, actually, ooh, let's go get some. My attacks will tear you ow, 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 ow. Ah, through my shield. I don't appreciate it. Your form is fragile. Run around, pick up ammo. Run, 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 run. 
Doubtful that enemy has withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Reinforcements. Yeah, they're gonna come from up over here. There's a bunch of husks gonna come up from right over here. I'm gonna get to watch them. Who's behind me? Get cocky. I bet there's more. Cocky. I actually legitimately love having Zaid around. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's really great. <laughs> my hand hurts, oh my gosh. No, not these guys. <laughs> no. There's, there's, there's even more faces. Edie, we need that system. Yeah, right now. I'm online. Right now. The hell is that? Keep your distance. Like, it's like, he says a lot of things that are like, well, duh, but it's also like, um... Like, it's nice to have, like, someone with his, like, experience. Ooh. Oh, that's right, it becomes invulnerable while it does that. Shield to fail. Should burn through any armor. Oh my gosh, you're the worst. That fight, that fight is brutal. On higher difficulties. There's like two or three total or something. I don't know. So unfortunately, they did get away. No! Don't let him get away! What do you want me to do? There's nothing we can do. They're gone. You can't. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. Saving half is better than nothing, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. <laughs> Commander Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. I am. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. We're having a moment. This is why. I thought you were dead, Shepard. <laughs> we all did. Ah, uh, this is why I didn't want to have a helmet for this moment. It's been too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <laughs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing. What do you happened. want me to say? I we had something, Shepard. Something real. <gasps> I loved you. Thinking you were dead tore me apart. How could you put me through well, I didn't... Why didn't you try to contact what? me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I wasn't even... Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now. Doesn't. I can't believe the reports were So right. you did know. Reports? Yeah. You already knew. A 
Alliance intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me, but there were rumors that you weren't dead, that you were working for the enemy. I mean, all he had to do was go to the Citadel where I have literally been broadcasting my presence on, like, loudspeaker. <laughs> like, Alliance intel is maybe dropping the ball a bit, cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> like... Uh, half the Citadel knows I'm alive, Gaben. I don't know where you've been, under a rock. Building the defense towers was just a cover story. The Alliance sent you here to investigate me, didn't they? I was here for Cerberus. You were just a rumor. I wanted to believe you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You turned your back on everything <gasps> What? You, you betrayed How? the Alliance. You betrayed no, me. No, what? Caden! Like, this is, it's so frustrating. Like, yes, I miss him and seeing his face, like, it breaks my heart. And legitimately, when this first happened to me, when this first scene first happened to me, it hurt a lot. Like, more than I expected for, like, days. Like, like maybe not days, but for, like, the whole rest of the day. Like, when I thought about this and, like, when I was playing the game, like, I would get, like, a pang in my chest that, like, he's just coming at me with all these accusations and I can barely get a word in edgewise. And, like, it, a lot of it wasn't under my control, dude. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate That's what people you. have been saying for years. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance. You can't take your eyes off Cerberus long enough to see the real threat. Oh, interesting. You're too emotional, Caden? Oh, let's see what that does. I, this is, I, bringing Zaid's interesting. I didn't even think about it like that, right? Where, but also I think Caden potentially is being too emotional, where he's got eyes on me and the issue. But like, yeah, I, I don't know, we can go into it later. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of the facts. Maybe. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe you're the one who's not thinking straight. You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always. You saw how fast they dumped me? back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story. I've already talked to them. I've already talked to them. They already know I'm alive. I could use someone like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Yeah, that would be dumb. It was a dumb thing to say, but I... Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. <laughs> oh, it actually really is. <laughs> like, very big... Like, Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this comedy. Zaid knows. Zaid's looking at me like, mm. um. But no, I always say that, even though um, I know he'd never join me. Like after everything he just said, but it's Shepard just trying this one last ditch attempt to be like, hey, like come with me, like, cause. I may be going on and on about Thane, but Shepard still has feelings for Caden. And it's only now, which is one of the reasons I really enjoy that Thane, like I don't always like it, but I do like that Thane comes later because it's now that Caden has like, it's kind of broken it off with you and like come at you very aggressively that Shepard's like having to like reevaluate, like no things can't, and like she does this a lot where she talk with Joker, right? About the good old days or Garrus about the good old days, you know? And it's like, yes, it's nostalgic because for Shepard, it wasn't that long ago, you know? But like, like, and I, I can totally understand where she's coming from, but she has to recognize, and I think this moment right now is where it really hammers home for her, that like, things will never be how they were. Like, she can't get, she cannot get the whole squad back together and have everything just be like, jolly ho, you know? Like, and Shepard's an intelligent woman, obviously, and like, she knows what's up. She's a trained soldier, like, she knows that, but like, it still needs to, like, this, in my opinion, is something that kind of needed to like it needed to work its way through her brain you know what I mean like a little bit like she needed to like process it more and like let it sink in so oh only a third nice uh-huh but yeah it's, it was rough. This legitimately was rough. Like, he comes at you so aggressively, and it's like, I have, I almost can't defend myself. Which is kind of the developer's fault. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. Hmm. 
It's not a victory. We interrupted the collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. Third. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to move them uh... in. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive. And with Cerberus. Uh. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony. Just to lure the collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and collectors gather I mean, strength. I understand. Besides. They would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. It's a hard truth, but honestly, like, he makes a good point. Like, what else? Are we just supposed to, like, run around and, like, hope we find one at the right time? Like, and yeah, they would have all been abducted. But this way, we do get to save at least most of them. But. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collector's stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? Uh, no. None of your damn mm -hmm. business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more yes. dorsiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. Dun, dun, dun. I don't like him, but he does make sense in a lot of ways. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is too. Getting some closure, you know? Mm. Okay. So that was a lot. That was a lot. And like truly, I do kind of blame the developers for that Caden thing because like I feel like they don't give you many opportunities to like explain things that you get some. I can't blame them too much. Like you get some but Caden really is very bullheaded about this. It's really interesting because the one time I've had Ashley survive and come to this situation, of all people, I was expecting it to be switched, right? Where Ashley would be aggressive and angry at me for, like, being with the Alliance and that Caden would be understanding and, like, thinking things through. Like, he usually does. That's how, it, like, Ashley was the brash one. Caden was, like, the more thoughtful one. But they've switched, um, and, and it's it's more even more heartbreaking and understandable when Caden has romanced you, that like he he feels betrayed and angry, you know, and he's got more responsibility than he used to. He's had chance to, to like time to grow and change as a person, and truly, as he's a very sensitive man, and so like your death, like really hit him hard, right? But Ashley, you meet Ashley, and she's like quite understanding and very calm, and like almost like. Like, she speaks quite softly to you, but not, like, not, like, deferentially, but, like, in a more, like, I guess, like, not, like, sympathetic with Cerberus necessarily, but, like, sympathy with, like, your, your need to get things done, I kind of, I think, I don't, I don't know 100%, but she's more understanding than Caden is, which was something I did not expect, and it made me interested to have her go through to Mass Effect 3, but unfortunately I couldn't get that Renegade playthrough to go through the, to work, so, anyway, um, I am excited someday to do that, though, all the way, because I was having issues with DLCs on my Renegade playthrough, and I couldn't get the Mass Effect 2 DLCs to work, and so I didn't want to play Mass Effect 3 without them, and, yeah, so I never finished my Renegade playthrough, but it makes sense, um, now I'll be able to play through Mass Effect 3 for the second time 
as Paragon and then go back and play through as a renegade. It's gonna be rough. Anyway, uh, this episode's gone on for a long time. I'm sorry they keep going over a bit. Hopefully I can cut down with like some of the fighting and stuff. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I want to say thank you to my patrons right now. I want to say a special thank you to my sapling tier patrons, uh, Scala Mugger, thank you so much, and Reese Scalita, thank you so much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron, and who is super awesome. Thank you so much, all of you, for your support, and I hope to see you on the next one.